This is just uh, a prototype, of course, for uh, a video of how to make small, energy efficient space heaters, 12 volt DC system. And the concept, of course, is the halogen light bulb. 20 watts and it gets really hot so we've made a small box radiating box and we'll have to open that up for you so you can see what's inside because it's not just holes uh, there are parts inside as well just for directing the heat to the upper holes from the lower holes. That would be our output. And that is our input for air. Also, there will be possibly a solar panel installed in a bit larger one that I've made as a prototype as well. It has uh, a parabolic type reflector in it there of aluminum to direct the heat as well as uh, direct the lighting towards the solar panel so that it will operate a fan without drawing more energy from the batteries pretty cool 20 watts that will draw about 1.6 amps at 12 volts DC and that would be ideal. I think that we'll probably have to up this to 55 watts minimum, maybe 40, for it to output some serious heat. Well, let's not call it serious, but heat that will warm up a small cabin, like you know, in a car, or a small cabin of a very of a smaller boat, small sailboat. Or a small cuddy cabin, and there's not a you know a lot of heat coming out of there, but it's warm. I've also experimented at 35 watts, as well as 55, uh, 35 in this one, and uh, 35 is putting out some heat. 20 watts here. I haven't really done too much testing, but at 20 watts, you can still hold this aluminum structure. It's not hot, it's just warm. It's actually quite nice. It could be used as a hand heater. Like if you were out on your boat and, uh, cold or nighttime also have a little small lighting source as well as something just to keep your hands warm take your hands off the tiller and put them on here and it's like I say it's not hot whatsoever it's just warm so yep there it is this thing's been on oh for a good four or five hours and we have a small battery bank over there. Those are small batteries, lawn and garden batteries. And there's five of them there. And up here is our battery voltage at the present time. I've been using some small lights, DC lights as well, here over the last four or five hours. And I always keep one on all the time. So, uh, you know, it uses a little bit of power. Like I said, 1.66 amps at 20 watts. Uh, 35 watts. Let's see. Easy just to go ahead and use the calculator for me. Why well, think hard? Uh, 35. 
divided by 12, is that right? Yeah. 2.916 amps if it was 35 watts. And that one starts to produce, you know, a nice little warmth coming out of it. It radiates out of the hole. But that would be to me the very maximum for my system that I have here I would want to use is about 35 watts. Uh, I've, like I say though, I've been making them a couple here. I got this one and I've been working on another one that's sitting over there on a nice 120 volt AC space heater with that there on the top. That's the one I'm working on for more wattage. I mean, I'm sure we could put up to 100 watts in it. Of course, 100 watts at 12 amps, that's drawing quite a bit of power. What's that? 100 divided by 12 equals, that's 8.3 amps. That's a lot of power. And, uh, but it's still less than a store-bought auto heater. Uh, and like I say, this one's going to have a fan, so that's the maximum it would draw at 100 watts, 8.33 amps. And uh, that over there will accommodate this solar panel. This one will fit inside of that small radiator that I've made. Halogen lights. They shine or illuminate the solar panel. The solar panel produces power and it will run a fan. So whenever the lights, halogen lights are on, the fan is running to keep it uh, circulating the heat out of the uh, small heater. So it's a lot less power than one that's used for uh, cars that you can buy from the store. Pretty cool. Yeah, actually a fuse for that uh, 8. Then you want to half that and go time and a half. So that would be a 12 amp fuse that you'd want to use for something like that. It would be more energy efficient. Pretty cool. Now we're going to do a little more experimenting with our small heater unit that I've made. Just been working on that one here today, yesterday. Of course, working on the idea for a while. Pretty darn cool, or warm as the case may be.